Is this what you're looking for? Because it sure as hell gave it to me better than you ever did. If you ain't fucking doing nothing wrong, you ain't got nothing to fucking worry about. Of all the issues we've got going on, this is really what's on your mind right now? Huh? You should focus more on our daughter. Daughter's fine. I swear to God, if you accuse me of fucking somebody again, I'm a fuck somebody. It ain't gonna be a stranger. No, I'm a fuck one of your friends. Fuck you just say to me? You heard me. You're gonna do what? Go ahead. Do it. You whores will never have it again. Okay. <laughs> All right. You should kind of like that. I almost forgot why I married you. Can talk to you for a of second. course. What's going on? Fuck me, boss. Hold on, hold on, Riley. Listen, give me a second. We'll take care of this with Riley, and, and we'll talk. Okay? Just hang tight, Candy. What's up? Any shit, fest? Tell right. me about it. in here from the fire department, the health department. Okay. We got citations for chairs blocking the entrances, and meat in the refrigerator, not clear wrappers. Really? Find out who's responsible for him. Okay. Come on. So what's up? What's up? I uh, overbooked the bouncers this evening. We got two extra on the floor. It's my mistake, I apologize. You can take it out of my paycheck. God damn right, I will. Riley, take care of that. Listen, these inspectors, this ain't normal. Okay. You're breaking your ball. All right. Kill. Because <laughs> you're working the pole tonight. Fucking Riley made me. <laughs> Two girls didn't show. One on okay. camps, the other couldn't find the sitter. I'm on the fucking rag myself, and he tells me to cut the string off my tampon. Fuck, you're supposed to get it out then. Listen, happens again, you're bound to. Okay? What's going on, man? I'm gonna get my old lady out of here, bro. You wanna go home with this guy? All right, listen, she ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah? Get your stuff, mm -hmm. get on out of here, all right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You know who you fucking with, bro? Doesn't matter who I'm fucking with, get your no. stuff and go, okay? Right. Fuck you, Guido. Fuck you, Guido. Yeah, Goomba, fuck Goomba, you. Fuck. fuck get this you. piece of shit out of here. Two. Yeah, Dead. yeah, I know. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Fucking turn around. I got to deal with this shit on top of it. Mr. White, do you What's up, Kenny? Of course. What's the matter? Let's go. What the fuck? Sorry, Mr. White, but we have a situation we need to handle right now. Give me a second, Kenny. Give me a second. What's the problem? I just turned my back for one second. Right. I don't even know who this girl is. What girl? Okay. What's the problem? She's passed out. She's all tricked out. I'm eating out. I'm eating out? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Help me. Help me. Help me. Are you fucking serious? Help me. Help me. I'm taking the hospital. It's unbelievable. All right. Okay. All right, so listen, this is what we're gonna do. Listen, just calm down. Calm down. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Hey, hey. I need you to just talk to her, keep her calm, okay? We're gonna get her to um, hospital or something, okay? All right? Take it easy. Just fucking go out of here, right? Put her in your ass, put her in a box. I don't care, but get her out of here now. You got her? Unbelievable. 
Belichick on your final opportunity. Right here, Bob Burns got you for all that best. Do you see some tipping out there? Definitely appreciate it. about that shit too. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, How many Mike, fucking times Mike, have I told you Mike, about this Mike, shit? You want that I'm shit? Sorry, huh? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Out, out, Mike, out. Come on. Ah, damn. It's always somebody else, right? Always somebody else. Fuck time. Are you Mike White? Of course. Name is Anderson, Jane Anderson, ATF. Right. I'm gonna need to nab every shipping label of every bottle you have in this club right now. Of course you are. Yes. It's required by law that you have access for me to everything. And is not your office that way? Um, actually, you know, um, you know what? What's your name? It's Ann. Anderson. And, yeah, right. Listen, you're right. My apologies. Don't play with me, Mr. White. Let me remind you, it's a felony to interfere with my investigation. You do remember what a felony is, don't you? <laughs> I have a little experience with this. So listen, why don't I do this for you, okay? Let me give you somebody that's going to help you out here. We'll give you full access to um, whatever you need. Joseph, you. take me some. Anderson. All right, with the. Uh, all right, and uh, do something with her. Go, go. Candy, where are you going? No, come on, I got you. Come on over here and let's talk. Let's go ahead and talk. Well, that didn't take long. Knew you'd be up to your old tricks in no time. You all right, boss? Yeah, I'm all right. All right, well, I'm going home. Mr. White, we clean as best we can. I'm gonna send the boys home. How's my team's gonna be here Sunday? Boss, I told you, too many shenanigans going on around here. This is natural. Odd number days, odd number months, odd number years. Even the Irish don't have that kind of luck. Boss, be extra careful today. What's up, Doc? I found from earlier still. Let me take over. Nah, let's see what he's talking about. So what the fuck are you still doing here? 
Tell homeboy to take a walk. It's just me and you. The bullet was meant for you, and you know it. You got five minutes. Anything longer, press for harassment. Harassment? Ooh, sounds like a little bitch move. What, are you gonna tattle on me? Talk. Candy's only been in town two weeks. She's a saint, aside from begging with her tits. She quit her job as a nursery school teacher to take care of her dying grandma. That's a true story. Now, who the fuck would want to kill somebody like that? Even if it was for me, and I don't know who it could be, but I sure wouldn't rat him out to you. Well, because you're a wise guy and you took an oath, is that why? You call it what you like. These guys don't give a fuck about you. You know, for as smart as you are, Mike, you're pretty fucking stupid, so let me lay it out for you. You're like one of those wounded gazelles on the Kalahari, your easy prey. Every wannabe and every ambitious cocksucker trying to climb the ladder on both sides of the laws are going to be taking shot at you. I've been tested my whole life. Why do you think this is any different? You're into something. You can't help yourself. What is it? Are you worried about me retaliating or something? Oh, no, no, I'm counting on it. Make my life easier. Unless you want to do the right thing and point the way, then it could be all ball games and barbecues. Don't let being loyal to some bullshit code put you away for another 19 years. You are you're 50? You'll be 70 when you get out, Pops. Yeah, and what makes you any different? You got your bullshit codes too. High as fuck on the power of the gun and the badge. You're worse than the fucking thugs I deal with every day. You like your fucking job? I live for it. Yeah, what, to see them hit the street five minutes after you try to put them away? Take down assholes like you? Yeah, you bet your fucking ass. Yeah, and what do you get out of it? Tiny paycheck at the end of the week minus taxes? Gold watch before you drop dead? That's worse than any shakedown I ever seen. Satisfaction. That's what keeps you warm at night? Yes, sir. Satisfaction? Yeah, disrupt the lives of assholes like you who prey on the weak and innocent. Extortion, drugs, racketeering, loan sharking, the list goes on and on and on. Loan sharking is a term you government pricks invented to make it impossible for the average guy to get a leg up outside your corrupt system. And you want to talk predatory? What the fuck do you think 23% interest rate on credit cards is? Your system is corrupt. IRS, don't pay? Prison stripes garnish your wages. Property taxes, don't pay? They take your fucking house. Insurance, pay and pay, file a claim, and they drop you. I'll look at things the way I want to look at them, and you look at things the way you want to look at them. What about your family? What about them? What if they try to get to you through them? Let them try. I know about your daughter. Yeah, what the fuck do you know? You wanna play this game with me? She's a cutter, twice had her on suicide watch. She's a little fucked up in the head. Maybe because your dad was gone from her life for so long. Time's up, fuckface. You think about it, sport. Your goomba's been to see you since you've been out, huh? They invest a little nest egg for you while you were serving time for them because of their oath. And who are you gonna sacrifice next? Your wife, your kid? Who? Get the fuck out of my club. The greatest criminal element on earth is the United States government. Shake down, ball busting, where's my piece leeches. The system is rigged. It's democracy that counts on apathy. It's driven by payola with the upper 1% pulling the strings. The rule of law is oppression. That system is fucked. The underworld is a chess game. Any piece may be sacrificed to protect the king. I was one of them. I rotted in a box for 19 years. 
I was instructed to fall on the sword and protect the bosses and to heed the code of honor to the family. Those at the top can suck my dick. Pussy motherfuckers that hide behind stand-up guys like me. That's the prize for rising to the top. Loyalty. The code of silence. Omerta was meant to protect this thing of ours and its ways from outsiders. The Komoda is one of the oldest mafia traditions designed specifically to counteract that government bullshit. The Black Hand's sole purpose was to circumvent government. They would champion the little guy against the government's greed and corruption. Have fun, ghoul. But the system caught on and it countered by creating its own laws and enforcing them at will to destroy any business, organization, or persons they deemed a threat to their interests. The Teflon is gone, the Don is covered with Velcro, and every charge in the indictment stuck. Now, in order for guys like me to survive, a new way needs to be born. Much like Luciano created a new way back in the 30s. A rebirth. I'm going to do shit my own way from now on. The Komoda's not like regular mafia organizations. If the head gets taken out, it can splinter into any number of new clans. Seems the higher up the ladder the man is, the more cozy he gets. Thinks his reputation is enough to keep him safe. You know the line they toss at you. Don't you know who I am? Like what? That makes you bulletproof? Fuck you. You all know who I am. I'm scouting talent and hustle. I don't give a shit if you're Cuban, Haitian, Muli, Rican, Russian, or Jewish. If you have talent, you're in. As of now, I'm the capo of my own crew. Old rules are for suckers. Turn this fucking shit off and get dressed. What happened? Who is it? Oh, I don't know that yet. There goes starting a new life together. Yeah, listen. I've heard it all before, Mike. This between us, it didn't last because you were an altar boy. Take it. Listen, I ain't leaving you here without any protection, okay? I got a piece. You don't think at some point it might have been a good idea to let me know you have a stash in the house? No. I was being helpful, keep you out of trouble. Well, we already know, trouble finds me. So now what? Now I do what I gotta do to protect the family, but listen, I promise you. Don't make me any promises, Mike. I already know the less you know, the better, and all that crap. Just go get the bastard. You can count on that. Karina, listen, this isn't what you think, okay? I just got some issues I gotta take care of. Issues, Dad? Karina, what I need from you right now is to stay here with your mother, okay? Why? So we can watch you rot in prison for the next 20 years of my life? You're a fucking loser, Dad. You've never really been a father to me. Karina, listen. Don't this you isn't... fucking touch me! Karina, Karina, where are you going? As far away from you fucked up people as I can get! Karina, listen. Karina! Karina! Mike! Karina! Mike! Mike, I got this, okay? I got the house. She's like this all the time. Just go get the fucking guy.
thought you had Percocets. He does. But I need something to take the edge off. And this is very nice. Trust us. Who's here? Hey, assholes. You gonna pat him down or I gotta do it? Basil Linguini. One of these guys tried to take me out, or could lead me to him. Like Sabatini. Pushes knockoff purses, Coke and Molly. Usually a hot chick by his beefy side. He's got circulation problems, so it's all show. This is Mr. Magoo. Was a fixer back in the day. Dangerous motherfucker. Took shit no one else wanted. Nowadays, jumps at any excuse to get away from his ball-busting wife. Chuckles. Riccardi's consigliere. Used to be pals with Enzo Ferrari. He's got money out the ass. Runs boiler rooms, flipping stolen cleaning supplies with spooks over here. They call him that because he's always looking over his shoulder. All they talk about is salesmanship. His hero, Zig Ziglar. Riccardi and I go way back. Ex-boxer bodyguard from one of the big capos in New York. Fuck the capos mistress, took a beating for it and was shelved to Hollandale. He and his whack job son Giuseppe here are fearless. Looks like the kid forgot to take his fucking riddling tonight though. Only interested in the big scores. I don't know who the fuck this is. Maybe Riccardi's kid's lover or something. Why are we having a thing with this guy? Yo, this guy comes to the fucking table and everybody's swinging on his dick. Yeah, he's right, Pop. Give me a fucking rat. I should have beat your ass a long time ago because he ain't got no respect. This is the most stand-up man I know. He did 20 years for me. They don't make him like this anymore. Giuseppe, from now on, you're going to kiss his ass. Maron, that's the first time I ever saw the boss shut his son up. Enough of this shit. What does he bring to the fucking table? Balls. I've seen this guy operate. He can get things done. Matter of fact, he's gonna handle that thing for us. Don't none of you pricks ever call me my real name ever again. My name's Gucci. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Oh, yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Agent Bellotti! Yoo-hoo! Oh, hi, Agent Anderson. How are you? Do you have a moment for me, please? Sure. What can I do for you? Well, it's more of what we can do for each other kind of thing, if I may. Wake up! I called you for breakfast 15 minutes ago. What the hell? Ugh. I'm fucking tired! I'm going back to bed. I don't give a shit. You better be up and ready in 10 minutes. Last month, Nova liquor warehouses were broken into. Are you aware of the case? Yes. 
truck backed right into the rear door caving in and took several pallets of white liquors. You know, rum, gin, vodka, etc. I have reason to believe that it's your charge, Mr. White's work. Scuttlebutt often says that you're out to club, you know, surveilling. I was wondering if you saw lots of boxes in or out of the club. I've already spoken to the waste management service and driver and Jenkins admits that there's been more than usual cardboard refuse. What say you? What say I? Well, as you know, my area of expertise is organized crime, and frankly, I don't see my guy involved in your little uh, caper. Do you not see your guy involved because you've been watching him closely and it's unlikely? Or because you don't see what's right underneath your nose? Change the fucking appointment because I'm not going! Oh, yeah? I told you to get dressed. <laughs> You know, Mike, not for nothing, but I never got a chance to officially thank you for that time you served. That was fucking huge, brother. Huge. Yeah, huge. What's huge about it? It's the way it played out. I'm sure you would have done the same shit if it was reversed, right? Yeah, I'd like to think so, but I was young and uh, my girl got pregnant. You know how it goes, man. I guess I owe you, no? I did what was expected. Owe me? Nah. You make your own karma, brother. The bosses know I did the right thing. I'm counting on their good graces here coming up pretty soon. You know how it is. Either way. I'll never forget what you did for me. Hold on a sec, Mike. The fuck is this kid? The fuck is Giuseppe? Don't you mean Gucci? I have an antidote for you. I killed my cat last week. Bear with me. There was a hornet in my garage every day this past week. Now, the first one I was able to shoo out by wafting the air with a large post board. You get those two for five dollars at Walgreens. I chart my week out with them. All creatures, great and small, are the Lord's. I want it to be humane. I'm deathly allergic to arachnid and insect venom, so when I saw two hornets in my garage, I got all serious, and I went to DYI, and I got that can of wasp, I ever use it, shoots an extreme amount of poison. So I got my goggles, I got my gloves, and frankly, I felt like a World War II gunman strafing zips. Your father pulled a lot of strings to get you into this school, and you're gonna go to orientation, you hear me? Now get up and let's go! I'm not going to that damn orientation or that tight-ass private school with a bunch of dice! Are you fucking kidding me? Ah! Who the fuck calls himself after a lady's purse? This fucking kid is killing me, Mike. I swear to you, I can't fucking take it no more. I saw the disrespect he did to you tonight. I'm trying to teach him everything he needs to know, and he's fucking calling himself after a lady's purse. Are you fucking kidding me? I eventually had to buy the second can of spray. I anticipated their moves and led them. Killed them both, only to get more the next day. Needless to say, my white popcorn ceiling, the walls, the tan leather interior, my husband's Lexus convertible, and the hoods of his golf clubs, they were all stained from this poison. <sighs> this is where the story pertains to you, Agent Bellotti. My husband suggests that if I follow the laws to the nest, I can finally rid my garage of these wasps. I suggest you follow the wasps. That's fucking great advice, Agent Anderson. Great advice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so fucking tired of your shitty attitude, you little girl. I'm not gonna take this crap no more, hear me? Mommy, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You have no fucking idea how many times I want to snap this kid's fucking neck with his wannabe little tough guy fucking friends running around. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I couldn't find espresso anywhere, so I had to get this Cuban shit. No sugar, though. You ever see how much they put in? Like half a fucking cup. I got the package, though. Anyway, Mr. White, I don't know if Pops told you what I'm into or not. Nah, he ain't told me nothing. All right, look, my crew back home in Jersey, we got a whole network set up. We got a team in Boston, 
Philly, Connecticut, and I mean quality clientele. We got the smack game on smash. Hey, you know, call me thick, but what does that have to do with your dead cat? The poison, silly. See, Taffy's bowl is or was in the garage, and I soaked her food with the poison when I was strafing for the wasp. All creatures, great and small, are in the eyes of the Lord. At least we did. So this new shit pops up, fucking cheaper price, fucking apparently better quality. Shit, for all I know, they're cutting it with fentanyl, killing off all the good customers. Because I know my supply comes from Mexico. Where the fuck are they getting cheaper grease from? So we put the feelers out, one of the cops we got on payroll puts up on this guy named Tito. So fucking we nab him. Beat the living piss out of him. And I'm like, if you don't tell me who your fucking connect is right now, I'm gonna crack your fucking skull wide open. As soon as I cock back, he starts spilling. Tells us about this Cuban guy, El Gato or some shit. He's supposed to be the fucking guy. Tito seen him meeting up with this hot as fuck Colombian chick last week in Boca. They both roll up in Rolls Royces. Supposed to meet a, a boat behind a vacant mansion. Only the boat don't show. So now she's pissed. She's a first class bitch. Starts tearing Gato a new asshole for being late or some shit. So she may be looking for a new buyer. So don't ask me how, but I felt Tito on giving me the connect with that Colombian slur so that we could get the deal. So now, fucking Tito's all fantasizing about, I don't know, living a good life and not having to clean out the litter box for El Gato or some shit. So then he tells me Gato closed the deal. But now to look good, he's fucking taking a big load. I mean a fucking huge load. Now we know where it comes in and when. And it's fucking like pallets of smack. I'm talking pure as fuck. If we can get the money and the product both, that's a few mil. That's enough for all of us to eat. And it's all laid out. So what's up, Mr. White? You want in? You're a fucking crazy bitch. You have no fucking idea. Your father's head is so far up his ass when it comes to you. I can't wait for him to come back home. Yeah, mom, if he fucking comes home. I intend to take Mr. White's club down, and I would like you to issue the arrest warrant. Hold on there, Tiger. You have nothing concrete on him. And even if you do find unaccounted white liquor in the gold club, how do you know he's aware of it? Food and beverage guy may be the only one we can pin it on. And then you get demoted for wasting taxpayers' money and harassing my wife. I got a better idea. Let's, um, let's follow the wasps, like your husband says. Who's running it? What's up, man? Not unless I find two coming. <coughs> Sorry. What the fuck you mean, find two coming? Like how? No offense, Giuseppe. But it seems like to me, you think you can just run up in there with your crew and a couple of pea shooters and yell, this is a stick up and they're just gonna give it to you. This is serious business. We gotta think this thing out. You got a crew? How big? Armored vehicles? Night vision? How about audio surveillance? Scramblers? Place to practice? Drones? I can run this for you. With your permission, of course. See, that's the type of shit I'm talking about, Pop. You know what? Fuck yeah, done. So what's the first move? Now we go get financing. She's a fucking bitch, Dad. You just haven't seen her that way yet. Every time she just doesn't get what she wants, she flips the fuck out. All right, first off, hold up. That's your mother. You will not call her a bitch, you understand me? And you will show her respect. Why the fuck should I? She doesn't respect me. She fucking called me a whore because I wanted to wear eyeliner for the first time. She told me to wash it off before we left the house. I just wanted to be like the other girls, Dad. I felt pretty for a change. So I told her no. Mom, like, please, you and your girlfriends always wear makeup. I should too. She smacked me across the face and grounded me from my phone for the rest of the day. Come on up here, baby. Listen. You're a very, very pretty girl. You understand? You don't need makeup. 
That's probably why she told you that, all right? I'm gonna talk to her for you, okay? That stuff this morning, what was that all about? You know you had to do that thing for school? I don't wanna go to that school, Dad. I told her that when she signed me up. The school's full of all girls and cliques and lesbos and shit. I like South High. I like the teachers and I get honor roll every term. My friends are there. I don't want to be in a dorm with a stranger. You don't think you should have told me that a little sooner? Oh really, Dad? Duh, you're never here. That's why she wants me out of the house so badly, so she can be with all her girlfriends. And they can drink white wine and giggle and gossip and talk about God knows what. She leaves snacks and glasses all over the house for me to pick up. Then she goes to play golf and tennis with her friends and she never invites me. And then I'm the one that has to make dinner all the time. And she won't even let me go to the fucking mall with my friends. All my friends have credit cards and money, and I have nothing. I, I, I don't have shit, Dad. I'm almost 16 years old, and she makes me wear the clothes that she wants me to wear. I can't even pick up my own clothes, Dad. She won't give me a credit card unless I beg for one, and she won't give me any money. She says I'm not responsible enough, but I am, Dad. I know I can be. I know I can be if I try. She just gives me the chance. I know I can be, Dad. I hate it. Like, sometimes I wish I was just dead. If it weren't for my friends, I'd just feel like that or something. They make me feel loved and wanted. Come up with it. <laughs> okay, listen. I take you at your word at this, okay? All right? This here stays between you and me, you understand? Okay? Pinky promise. Okay. I love you very much, honey, okay? We both do. Listen, I don't want no more BS out of you, all right? Okay? The number one rule for any successful score is OPM, other people's money. Only a fool would use his own cash and the real power lies in finding the pipeline on who will lay down that type of paper. Pulling off a huge score requires the expertise of freelance criminals. A small army of them, and the only way to keep them loyal to me is making sure they stay on my payroll, and I know the best guys in the business. My power, I let the play pay for itself. It's like Lucky Luciano used to always say, there's no such thing as good money or bad money, there's just money. Introduce myself. I'm Jack Kango, attorney of law, liaison, quarterback, wingman. Well, only in LA. But don't believe the herpes rumors, because they're fucking liars. You can save that shit. You're a fucking lawyer, just like all the rest. You guys think you can party like rock stars and drive your fancy sports cars and all your little co cores while guys like me sit around and rot in the box away from our families. If I had been your lawyer, you would have been gliding out of every courtroom like a fucking vampire, okay? So let me tell you something, what I do... There. Mark an X and a Coke for me. What? I need your signature so we can talk. Mark an X right here. Thank you. Now we have a confidentiality agreement and shit. <laughs> now, 
You see, what I do, Mr. White, you're not gonna see on the news, okay? The cast of fucking friends can't afford what Arnie and the mob and the city officials pay, all right? I walk in the room with a serrated knife and I cut right down to the bone. I don't care who has the better PR, I don't care who has the better spin, all right? I look at the ballistics, I look at the forensics, I can make bullets bend, fingerprints blotch. What I do, Mr. White, you can't put a price on, you know why? Why don't you tell me why? Because I'm the wizard. And my powers keep the motherfuckers out of jail. Now, let's play a little game called Time Is Money. You answer what we ask and you get to the bonus round, you get a face-to-face -face meeting with Arnie. I'll be your host, Jack Kango, and today we're in beautiful, sunny Florida. How do I know you're who the fuck you say you are? Because I have a half a grand of pure cocaine in my pocket and Jose Canseco's enhanced baseball bat sitting right over there. You can't make this shit up. What are your fucking questions? Great, the games begin. Now first, let's say hi to Arnie, who's listening in, no doubt, from a missile silo or a titty bar of some sort. Hey, Arnie! Hey! Now, <clears throat> all right, so for a chance to get your wildest dream scheme financed and take it all, tell me, how the fuck do you know Billy Rooch? The joint. Come on, every swinging dick knows fucking Rooch from the inside. Gotta give me something better here, Mike, or you can fucking walk. Okay. Selfish. They told me to tell you selfish. Selfish. You heard that, Arnie? It's selfish. Cocksucker! Yeah. I heard him. The man said selfish. Find what he needs. You. <clears throat> You'd have to know the story. All right, all right, so tell me, Mike, tell me. You need... You stupid motherfucker, what you think? I'm here for you to shine my goddamn shoes? Megan, motherfuckers are all the same. It's always about what's in it for you. Me, me, me. What about what's in it for us, huh? And BTW, if we don't get what we're promised, we'll destroy everything you've ever fucking known. Does that work? I prefer it that way. In fact, what you two might make off of this move, you're probably going to want to retire. Probably want to size my guys up for some of them head-knocking Super Bowl rings in appreciation. Jack, just send them to my office. Well, I'll see you in the skybox. It's been real fun, kid. But listen, next time we meet, and you're snorting this foo-foo shit, I'm going to shove it up your fucking ass. And I ain't playing. I got a little surprise for you. Put him down. <clears throat> I'm gonna ask you once, nicely. Who the fuck tried to put a hit on Mr. White? Are you kidding me, bro? I don't know what you're talking about. Who the fuck is Mr. White? I'm Mr. White. Who the fuck are you? I'm your worst fucking nightmare, old man. Doesn't matter what my name is. Is that right? All right, well, you're fuck face from here on out. Listen, all you need to know is that I run the local chapter of Deuce as well. Now, for Gucci's telling me a shoe, and you ordered this in, you're a dead fucking man. Hey, Gucci, what the fuck? Why are you kissing this has been's ass, huh? You his little bitch now? You forgot about all the money that you made for this? This geezer's lucky he could reach around and wipe his ass. He's old school, man. Like, needs Viagra to fuck old school. Fuck this motherfucker! What the fucking fuck, man? What are you out of your fucking mind? This is just supposed to be a simple get him to talk thing, man. man. Holy fucking shit! Got a better way to do it, kid? Because I don't. Holy shit, Mr. White. It was fucking ruthless. I heard about you my whole life from my pop, and now I know the stories are true. Did you see that? Bow! You fucking off to Who's your old man, kid? Adorni. Francis Adorni. You were locked in a cell with him. Your father was a good man. He didn't deserve how they played him. What's your name, kid? Reno. Reno, I'm tell your guy and bring him to me. Yes, sir, Mr. White. What the fuck did you have to kill him for, man? I mean, we could have just beat him down or something. What the fuck, man? I still can't fucking believe act it. act like you ain't never seen somebody whack before, have you? I mean, yeah, but fuck, not this close and shit. What you mean, not this close? What you did, you watched it on TV and threw some binoculars or something? Man, you, you're talking like you ain't never even fired a gun. No, I didn't. But I mean, fuck, I mean, I gave the order a couple times. Fucking hell clean it up, I've been around it. 
what you doing with this thing? Is it for show or you only shot it at the firing range and shit? No. I mean, I mean, I got guys to handle that kind of shit. Okay, we're here. You're gonna do it. Do him. Wait. Go ahead. Now? Yeah, now. Why? Make, you're gonna for make what? your bones. I wanna see what you're made of. Go ahead. Do what? it. Why? What the fuck? Why? Not, for what? Do him, because I wanna see what you're made of. Do him. spread the word or some shit? I mean, he told you everything you want to fucking know. What the fuck did you kill him for? So I don't like rats. Oh. Brr. Get shit up. Brr. Gucci gang. Oh. That's it yeah. right now, T-Nail. Yeah. Woo! -hoo. Gucci gang. You see me fucking pop that yeah. fucker? Yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Sprint their ass on new chain. Yeah. My bitch love do cocaine. Ooh. I fuck a bitch, I forgot her name. Yeah. I can't buy me no way to rain. Ooh. Rally go and buy ball man. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. Sprint their racks on new chain. My bitch love do cocaine. Ooh. I fuck a bitch, I forgot her name. Yeah. I can't buy no bitch no way to rain. Rally go and buy ball man. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. My lean costs more than your rent. It do. Ooh, your mama still live in the tent. Yeah. Still slanging dope in the jets. Huh? Yeah. Me and my grandma take meds. Huh? None of this shit be. Who in the world can we turn?